What is Gucci in the Coochie? It is King Kai. Demon Slayer is one of my favorite animes right now, but I think Anosuke has to be my favorite character in that show without question. So far in season one, I'm not a manga reader, don't spoil. Anosuke demonstrated this physical prowess that completely outclasses his peers in physical strength. He has insane durability and he's able to withstand injuries and we even seen him slam his head against a tree for some reason. One of his most noble traits is easily his superhuman flexibility. With his uncanny ability to dislocate his joints, Inosuke is actually able to do some pretty crazy things with his body. But now, have you ever considered if it's possible for you to get that kind of flexibility? Well, in a very specific situation, then yeah, it definitely is possible. I mean, again, if you're around 60 years old, then that ship might have sailed. That moving train probably already went off. Inosuke's ability to manipulate his body is definitely rare. However, it's not too far what humans are actually capable of doing with a lot of training and consistency. Athletes such as ballerinas and gymnasts are able to do these kind of things and have really good flexibility because they've been practicing from such an early age. Also, martial artists and, and dancers and whatnot, they have to have this kind of flexibility so they can perform better in their sport. See, now there's an obvious advantage from start to starting young. Not only do you get more time to develop, but your body is actually a lot more uh, malleable when you're younger, so you can actually build it better into what you want it to become. So just like how they say that kids are really good at learning languages when they're younger. Now what kind of training can we do to mimic Anosuke? Well he's able to bend his body backwards through his legs and that requires an insane amount of spinal flexibility. But now we actually have an idea of where we can focus. You can improve your spinal flexibility through yoga. Yoga can actually help immensely in building up your strength and your balance. So utilizing yoga in your training regimen will actually get you a lot closer to becoming that beast breathing master. Along with the already added benefits. Yoga can help improve blood flow to the muscles, help heal and reduce the risk of injuries, as well as a lot of other amazing benefits, so I highly recommend it. I've done yoga myself, and like these little small movements don't seem very significant, but over time and consistency, they really do add up, and they actually do make your body feel a lot better than it did before. Now, if you're gonna include yoga into a training regimen, I highly suggest that you do it after your weight training. Let's say if you are a weight trainer, before the weight training, I suggest dynamic stretching. But the reason why I'd rather you do yoga after is because you're helping the muscles relax. Like that's what the, the static stretching is. Like you're relaxing your body and you're returning it back to a cool down state. And that's not really going to help you when it comes to weight training because your body is, you know, relaxed. And it's not going to be as effective when it comes to lifting heavier. So like with dynamic stretching, that's really just moving around, trying to get the body all nice and limber and also moving, moving blood to the muscles so they can perform in the coming workout. Now the opposite of this is uh, static stretching, which in this case yoga would be more like. Static stretching is simply just like holding a stretching position. So let's say you've seen that a million times, like hopefully I don't mess up the mic, but doing something like that across the shoulder, that's a static stretch. So you're basically moving uh, your, your muscles beyond its natural range of motion and holding it there. See, the reason why that's not the best thing to do uh, before a workout, I almost said after, before a workout, because think of your muscles like a rubber band. So like you guys ever seen like, how a rubber band, it's, it's kind of tight when you like get a new one and like you try to pull it apart and it's like very resistant and it can possibly snap. That's uh, not good, right? But if you wanted to you know, warm it up, like shake it around, like rub it a little bit, and it starts to get a little bit warmer, it's easier to bend, it's a lot more malleable, you know what, the, you know what I mean? So just so you guys, I'm gonna throw some science in there, just so you guys have a better idea what I'm talking about. Uh, when you actually pull your muscle like that, and you have a hard time like stretching it beyond its natural range, it's actually called autogenic inhibition, and there's something in your body called a Golgi tendon organ that basically um, inhibits the, possi the possibility of it snapping. So let, let's say if you f pull it like this, and you feel that pull, that tension, like you can't go beyond however, wherever you're going, that's your Golgi tendon organ saying, hey, yo, Matasuka, stop, relax, we can't go that far yet. But if you start to, over time, pull it, and like you hold that position, that's why you have to hold a static stretch, then your body's getting used to that, um, let's say, what's the word I'm looking for? Getting used to that stretch. Basically allowing it to relax so you can go even more beyond what you're used to and get a little bit more flexible. So to recap, yoga will help improve your spinal flexibility as well as your overall flexibility and your well-being. And it's really good for helping your mental health too. Because again, in any kind of exercise is really good at improving your mental health. So if you want to become the next beast breathing master, put some yoga in your training program after your weights. All right, y'all, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, join the family, I appreciate it. And also I'm gonna include a weight training program in the description for you that you can take if you want to. It's all up to you, completely free, take it, I don't care, all right? Deuces.
Gonna die.